Let's come together for the 20th anniversary of the Essence Festival presented by Coca-Cola July 4th weekend in New Orleans, Louisiana. Y'all know how I met her. We broke up and got back together to get her back. No ID. I, I started working with No ID. I met, I know I know No ID since fourth grade. So we start we start working. So whenever I start working on demos, No ID was like basically he was in my first rap group I ever had. So we, I started working with No ID at like 14 years old. So really, the 20 year celebration that we're coming up on for you is your first recording. It's, 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 it's like the 20 year celebration is a celebration of the song we did called I Used to Love Her and an album we had called Resurrection. That was like, that was I, I stepped out. Like, you know, we had made an album before that, but people didn't know about it. It's called Can I Buy a Dollar? Me, him, and Twilight Tone. But then I'm, we made this album, Resurrection, and I Used to Love Her became a big song that that eventually, you know, went on and they did the movie Brown Sugar and it was based around it. And people did songs like Love of My Life. She needed chatter and I understood that. Looking for cheese that don't make her a hood back. In fact, she's a queen to me. Her light beams on me. I love it when she sings to me. It's like that. So we celebrating the 20 years of that, but more than anything, you know, we happy to be working together 20 years now and be putting out an album that's on his label it's on Def Jam, and um, you know it's an incredible album. Oh, nobody's crying. Nobody's, nobody's smiling. smiling. Yeah. But what I wanted to say is nobody's crying because you do have a new one coming out. And everybody's <laughs> smiling. Hey, that's great. Because I want... it's coming. But I do understand the message behind nobody smiling. So yeah. you were born in Chicago. Yeah. Very passionate about what's going on in your community. Yeah, for and sure. And actually wants to see that change come about. Yeah. So I mean, nobody's smiling is describing the situation that's going on. In Chicago, it's been it's been a lot of violence, and and you know attention need to be brought to that. But it's happening. It happens in other cities too. So you know Chicago is, is a reflection of that. It happens in New Orleans. It happens in in, in um it happens. It can happen in Tyler, Texas. Tyler, you know. Right. So I, I mean I'm just really trying to bring attention to it and saying we gonna you know we gonna change the situation. It's like a call to action. You know we gotta move. But the music is really more motivational music it ain't like you know it ain't like sitting down saying man man let's stay let's stay not smiling the music is like yo let's go get it you know? okay yeah we have a lady in Ty well east texas uh -huh. because i broadcast to all of east texas not right. just tyler right. she started a uh, movement called say oh, stand really? against violence every day man that's great because that's what we need that they're having a lot of issues in east texas with senseless violence i mean that's i mean for sure like it happens, it's happening around our country with guns. Like, but in Chicago, we've had like young ki kids, innocent kids getting killed, like killed. Like their lives are gone because of just somebody want to shoot in the crowd. So, yo, I can't, I can't sit back and let that happen. You know, that's where I'm from. And I don't like it to happen anywhere. I don't care like if, it, if it's East Texas, if it's the, the Bronx, if it's like LA, I don't want to see, you know, I want to see us living good. So that's my whole plight. Okay, so when are we gonna see you on the screen again? Cause my favorite movie is what? Mr. Right. Oh uh, yeah, you like that? That I Just Right movie. I love that movie with Queen Latifah. Uh, uh, thank you, I thank you, I appreciate it. Well, I just did a film called Selma. It's directed by a woman named Ava, Ava DuVernay. She's a black woman. Um, it's it's produced by Oprah Winfrey and Brad Pitt. Oprah is actually in it, and it and it's about Dr. King, Dr. Martin Luther King, and and getting voting rights in Selma and all the work that all these people did to, to do this, how people sacrificed for us to get voting rights. It's an incredible movie. It'll be out Christmas. All right, well, we'll definitely be in the theaters yeah. to watch it. Thank you. And you are the love of my life.